May the 3rd, 2015. We're getting ready to get aboard that Independence of the Sea and cruise on down to the Caribbean for about seven days. This is our balcony. That's our view when we get sailing out of this port. And this is our room. Got us a king size bed. TV, couch, then we'll go back here, I guess you'd call this the head on a ship, this is our bathroom, see we're up here on the top deck of this uh, independence of the sea left port yet just to give you a panoramic view of what we see up here when we leave there's a pool there but there's pools everywhere on this boat uh, how can i say it they change the way that they see cruising. For example, right now... He is have, the captain of this ship that, that we are on right now. ...that we have over here. And then the new ships, you know, they have these smart ships, you know, that they have more equipment, more modern equipment. So then you have to renew, as a company, your whole fleet. So they upgrade them? Yeah. So if they see that the ship can be upgraded, they upgrade the ship. If they see that they cannot be upgraded anymore, it cannot keep up on the market, then they take the decision and they give it to somewhere else. Usually they sell it, you know, to another company that matches their needs. So that's the way that our company works. And that's why, you know, you see that some time ago, we gave away the Monarch, we gave away the Nordic Empress. The Majesty, it was still doing amazingly well in the market in Miami. So they kept her until next year. So it's the company decision based on the clientele that they have and also their way of marketing their brand. Saying that, okay, for us, this is the minimum that I have to offer to my guests. And if the ships, they cannot be built up to this new way of thinking, then they have to give them away. Let's go over here, all this is a shop, from one end of the ship to the other. This is our dining room here where we just had our dinner. This is just one of the dining rooms on this ship. They got probably four or five of them. where you 
drop all your money before you even get to court if you want to. Take a nice casino here. Here's a little bit of the money just laying around in this casino. Just a bunch of $1 bills packed up in 50, 50 bundles, it looks like. There's just one of hundreds, it seems like, bars on this place. Nice look at piano there. Just coming up. We pulled into Haiti here in about another hour. It's pretty, it looks like it's going to be a prettier day than it was yesterday, though. Too pretty today. Got mist and rain. A little windy out here on the ocean today. Well, we're finally getting here. We're getting right here now. This is the island of Haiti. We'll be pulling into port here shortly and docking this big old mother. Yeah, we're going to have a prettier day than we had yesterday. Yeah, we just got off this ship in Haiti. Just gonna show you how big this thing is, if I can. We're right here, standing under it. One big boat. There's the anchor for our little ship, our little boat. Well, here's our ship, finally docked in Haiti. That's what we come over from Fort Lauderdale in. Now we're going to spend a day here in Haiti and drink some rum runners. Independence of the sea. Sitting in here, the harbor of Haiti. That's where they start that zip line up here on the top of that mountain there, and it comes down here about half a mile to the end. Zip line in Haiti goes over the bay there. They about a half a mile long. Sitting here having some nice tropical drinks, nice ocean breeze here on the beach here in Haiti. Don't get no better than this.
footage here on Haiti is just full of shops all down through there. You walk down there and they start grabbing you. It's like in the fairground. They need to pull you in there and buy some of their gifts. Jamaica. I said we'll be in Jamaica around 10 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> there's my nice little car right there. There's my Morgan. Yes, sir. Pretty little car. Now we're heading to Jamaica. Supposed to get there this morning around 10 o'clock. Little play area for the kids. Now they have a ball here when this thing cranks up here a little later. in uh, one of these bar areas right here right now. Kind of early this morning, nothing going good yet here. They got a van and everything be cranked up here shortly. They're right here at the front of the ship. Beautiful day. Heading for Jamaica. Well, we're getting ready to pull in the port here in Jamaica here shortly. A little hazy out there. Well, we're getting a little bit closer to our port here in Jamaica. Yeah, getting closer. Been pulling in there. Not too long. Here comes our port pilot in here to get on the ship to take us into the port. take us in, I guess, to take us around the reef or whatever. Sea's pretty rough out there, shaking that little boat pretty good.
Jamaica. Yeah, you here in the Cayman Islands. And it is Caribbean. I've never seen so many jewelry stores in all my life. Ship works right here, so have no problem. Get off your ship. I'm right down in here. Do all your shopping. Right here on the dock. Here we are at Margarita Grill here in Jamaica. Get ready to go in there and have a few drinks. I'll go eat one of them big old hamburgers myself. Margarita Grill. Oh, they are partying here today. we'd get a beautiful sunset but it's going down into the clouds out there so it won't be as pretty as I thought it'd be She goes. She's down behind the clouds. I can't imagine this island of Jamaica is so large. I mean, we've been really traveling along here, going past that thing. And we still. I not dream it was that big, but I guess it is. Big old island. Well, it's almost eight o'clock in the morning. Getting ready to dock here at Grand Cayman.
Sun's out bright. Looks like we might have a, another pretty day. We have to get on these boats here, these tenders, and they're going to take us ashore. I guess there's not, the water's not deep enough up there for this big ship to get in there, so dock out in the ocean and then they bring us in. Grand Cayman, like everybody's here today. Buddy's car right down on the left side of the street. Getting ready to go out on that uh, glass bottom boat there. Take us out of the reef and see the fish and watch them feed them. There, there's a submarine. You can get on that submarine there and they'd take you down 100 feet or so enclosed in that submarine. They've also got a dive bubble here somewhere. I was looking for it. 
So they'll take you down 600 feet here in the uh, Cayman Islands. I ain't getting on either one of them. I'm gonna get on this glass bottle. There goes the submarine. That takes you out there. They say they'll take you down about 100 feet or so by the reefs. And let you uh, see the fish and everything. But I'm kind of leery about going down 100 feet. So, so we're gonna get on this one here. This one here is the glass bottom boat. We're on top of the water. Well, we'll go down like in the water and look through the windows and look at the reefs and everything. They even got another one that's like a one of those James Bond underwater crafts. They'll take you down about 600 feet. <laughs> no danger me getting on that thing. This is the boat we're going to get on here in a few minutes here at the Grand Cayman. Take us out there where the reefs are. This boat's got a glass bottom boat in it. Instead of snorkeling down to see what's on the reef, we'll be able to sit there and watch you through the glass bottom boat. They say the uh, diver will get out and feed the fish. So it might be pretty interesting. It's a nice barracuda down there. Fort is one of the, if not the most, between the top two are, I believe right now, I would normally say the most awesome place on planet Earth right now. However, we still know less about inner space, which is the underwater world, than we know about outer space, which they intend to continue to explore. It is the, it is the only place left on planet Earth where human beings are relatively ignorant to. In other words, we don't have a lot of knowledge on the underwater world. New discoveries are made every day. I saw an article up to a few days ago about a species of shark that they just realized that can change its coloration and its pattern to that is happening for that fish. They're going another meal. Look at the smile on his face. Look at that. Lots of reasons to smile, isn't it? <laughs> seven, five, seven of them. Now, a cleaning station basically is set up by a, a, a school of fish called cleaner fish. The correct term are human. So you hear that description, a silverback, bonehead, bubble blowing humanoid. Okay. That's your boat captain who jumped overboard but on the shore for you. Wow. The good part about that is his industrial strength that seems to be working, but he kept his clothes on today. <laughs> He's on the medical observation because he believed that that is his world there. He says this is the only time that he ever had groupies, so he prefers it down here than up there for a long human being. Look at his following, wow. From Unichuk, Sergeant Major. Here he comes. That's, so that's Craig, who decided to go overboard and get you guys put on the show for you guys here. Your boy Captain. <laughs> wow, look at that. Holy moly. Well, they all over in that thing. Although we are although we are pretty close, um, there is whenever water, like how close he is right now, that's a true view of what size the fish are and how close um, he is. But the perception through water and the glass is like putting a finger behind a glass of water, you see a finger gets a little bit bigger. So it's a little bit closer. But although some of the areas that he goes through, it's a pretty tight path, but he's used to doing it. So it's, it's not going to hit, but it's not that close as an island. Yeah. Above the surface of the ocean, hence you run an island. There's a lot of here. And some of these trees. Cayman Islands is part of a long barracuda that stretches all the way from 
all the way down to South America, all the way up to the northern tip of Cuba. It is called the Sierra Maestra Mountain Range. So how deep is it? The mountain ranges? That's a very good question. I see you're already trying to stump broadly, but I'm going to ask for that one. It varies from location to location. Some of you have come here. Wow, look first, look straight down. You've got horror side jacks, the silver ones down there. Those are predators. And you see them in a school. You see them in a school right now, but they work up in, from that school at night as they go hunting. They're very good eating. But right now you are seeing them there are at rest or even asleep, semi asleep. That's what you're seeing right now. The lady asked, How deep is it? Some of you have come here, you heard. First of all, that's some elk horn coral. Look at the elk horn coral there. Elk horn corals. Some of you heard about the Cayman Wall or the Cayman Drop Off. That drop off is part of the depth that you're asking about. Some of you see the cruise ships out there today. The front of the cruise ship or the bow of the cruise ship, as it would be officially called, would be anchored in about 80 to 100 feet of water. The back of the cruise ship, if you were to run all the way back along the deck of the cruise ship and jump off the back, you'll be jumping into about 1,500 feet of water. Now that depth continues down to 3,000, 6,000, depends on which part of the island that you're on. The island, that drop-off or the Cayman drop-off goes all the way around the island. It is no one specific area. Right now we are in shore of the drop-off which is directly out in front of you. That can go down to 1,500, 3,000 feet. Only this morning, someone was, um, I ran out to do a little errand uh, for the company and the guy showed my shirt and he says you guys should it because they see me in different clothes they don't even see me they, and they didn't recognize this game on the sea world so you guys are changing them I said no it's different a different um, task that we do is it deeper I said no it's shallower and he says but tell me something when you go out deeper um is it more to see I said no it's less to see in some cases there is a shelf called the, I remember the name of the shelf, but between the sh shallow waters and 200 feet is the most active area of the ocean that you'll find um, in terms of colors and, and uh, reef fish and stuff like that. I, and I said to him, he said, how do you know? I said, because I have been down 2,000 feet many times. And he asked, he says, are you serious? I said, yes, I've been down 1,800 feet, I've been down 2,000 feet on many occasions. Excuse me folks, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go and give Craig a hand here. Yeah, I don't think they'll let me be wrong.
ton of them out there on jet skis flying around out here. Well, we're going to be docking here in Cozumel, Mexico in about 30 minutes. Be just a few minutes and we'll be docking this big old baby here in Casabel, Mexico. the band playing out there. Can't wait to get all the American dollars of what it is. Well, we're getting ready to dock right here in Casamel. We have a nice little walk when we get off this ship. Right over there, I guess, and then we'll check two shops that we have in the town. Casamel, Mexico. Can't wait to get me a margarita. Somebody's got their yacht pulled in there already. We're in the harbor here in Casamel, Mexico. We'll be here till 7 o'clock. And we're going to be pulling out of here. Heading back to Fort Lauderdale. Just loaded with all kinds of shops right here on the ocean. Yeah, there's an old pirate ship. Looks like he's anchored off there. He's gonna come in and probably raid some stores tonight. Here we are in Margaritaville Grill. 
here at Casa Mel. Stopped in here for lunch. Be able to have us a margarita or Corona beer or something while we're doing our shopping. Like I say, we're early. Not too many people here right now. All right, we're in Casa Mel, Mexico. We're getting ready to get back on our ship. They got carnivals in here. And there's our ship right there, the Independence of the Sea. So he's got this thing, he says he's going at maximum speed. So you can see the way these waves are, the way we're going by. He said we usually cruise at 16 knots, but then he said we're at maximum speed, but I don't know what that is, but I know we're that we're really moving lots faster than we were moving. Looks like it's gonna do the same thing it did the other night. Looks like it's gonna drop down in some
sun just go right down into the water. This is some of the booty that we got on our trip when we went to Jamaica down in the Caribbean. And there's a elephant skin bell I got. And there's some 12 year old rum. There's me a nice Philip Stein watch. Lisa's got some diamonds. There's a few more bracelets. Uh, got some good Jamaican Blue Mountain coffee. Had her pictures taken on the ship. Yeah, there's the ship we were on. I'll kind of get down and get a little close up here where you can see her jewelry she got down there. There's that stone. It's only get that stone there. I forget the name of it. It's in Canada. It's that three color stone they got there. And there's her ring. Here's some diamond earrings. There's a charm. Here's a charm bracelet. There's some more earrings over there. Yeah, she looks like she did pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, she did good. Yeah, got a few things while we were down there in those crazy islands. Anyhow, we're home. We're back here in Brandon, and it's good to be back home.